Hey everybody, New Third Twelve here, and welcome back to me talking about Beta Apocrypha for a while. This time it's five and six. And oh my fucking god. I still fucking hate Sieg. I'll never fucking understand why he's a thing. Why he's important. Why we want to protect him at all costs. He's a fucking hum homunculus. I... And he's involved. What? Why? Why is he special? Why is no one else special? Why does he get the fucking protection? No one else does. All these other fucking people dying to like... Jack the Ripper. We'll get to that in a bit. But all these other uninvolved people are dying to Jack the Ripper, but... We're not actually caring about that. We're caring about this one homunculus? As the ruler, you should know this is happening. Like, what? Really? Come on. It's just ridiculous. Like, I know the energy won't be the same when it comes to that shit. But it really fucking needs to be. Because it's... Otherwise, it's literally just fucking plot memes. For why he's ha he's special. And why he gets the protection. Like, who the fuck? But care is about a homunculus. They're not even a real person. When there are real fucking people dying to servants out there, that could be you be getting help. Because that's what she really should be doing right now, not fucking jerking off with this dude. It's ridiculous. And I like my Jean. I love my Jean. But I want a real one, not a fake plot driven one. Like this bullshit. Him having heart, he's completely fine. Blah, blah, blah. Again, stum. She has apparently command spells as well. Why in God's name would you send Karna? What are you doing? This just makes Red look stupider. Even more stupid. Either one. Doesn't matter. That's how mind-numbing it is. So we're talking about a servant... That can order him to kill himself. You're sending him to attack her. What's the gain here? Like, do you gain something proportionally as if you lose a servant? You have to gain something just as important as if you lost Karna. That's how important this is. And why I think it's just mind-numbing even more. Why you risk it. What's Red Team doing? Like, it's almost like they're trying to lose this war. They have better servants. Fucking win the war. Don't play these stupid fucking tricks when you can win the war. It's so, so infuriating. Like, my god. Where's the brains? There is none. Why? In god's name, are we doing stupid underhanded shit that can backfire... When we could just win. Just win. You have Mordred. Your saber beats them on paper straight out. I don't want to hear Sieg meme, Siegfried memes at all. Mordred can beat him. Don't care. She can beat him. Your Lancer is probably better than theirs. Karna's apparently really strong. You sent him to kill the ruler in by himself... When all of Red Team can get together, when they were talking to Ruler, were questioning whether they could beat her. If they all attacked at once. And then Dude was questioning if that was even, if they would win. That just goes to show, Red Team already has more faith in one servant than all of Black Team has together. Your rider Achilles is way better than Astolfo. Ungodly better. Your archer... I'd say probably a little less than Charon. Because he's just really good. He's a very good Greek archer. Hands down. I can't... That's your one advantage. Everything else, you're getting fucking blown out of the water. So why? Why would we risk this? And their assassin isn't even on their team. Like, really working with them. So they're even down a servant to begin with. Why? This is just foolish to me it's just mind-numbing that we would do this like as a team you would choose worse options than just playing it out playing it out you're going to win 
10 times out of 10. I don't see this stacked fucking team losing. And then we have Mordred versus Jack. I love my Mordred. If only one person didn't interrupt it, she would have killed her. Sadly, we don't get that. Because once it once Mordred evens the playing field is just one-on-one, -on -one, assassins just aren't going to win one-on-one -on, -one on servants. If they're not injured, they're not weak, and they can see where the assassin's coming from. Assassin already lost once Mordred cleared the fog. She actually shouldn't have even gone into the fog in the first place. So I'll, I'll be honest on that one. But, you know, hard-headed, uh, brash, all that stuff. All the stuff I love in her. Good shit. Like, rushing in there is just a bad idea. But once she cleared that fog, it's over. There's no way Jack can win at this point. I don't know why she's a lolly. It's stupid. I wish she wore pants as well. So, once she dies, I'll be happy. But, like, I know that's why he probably interrupted it. But, like, damn, she would have fucking won. It's bullshit. She couldn't get the free kill. I mean, unless they started pulling out like, oh, magically now assassins aren't good with sneak up attacks, but they're actually just good on one on ones now, even though that's apparently how all assassins are supposed to work because they aren't good one on one. That's why they need the sneak attacks. That's why they have their fucking stealth abilities. But you know what? It's Apocrypha, so who who the fuck knows what can happen? It's never happened in the war that an assassin can take on servants head-on normally without, like, special memes and shit. I mean, Sasuke Koidru, I think was his name. Yeah, Sasuke. He kind of could go against Saber, but it was only because she was on, like, the uneven terrain or whatever. It was, like, really hard for her to beat. And even then, she could have even beaten them faster if she just used Excalibur. If she really wanted to fucking win. Also, she probably was all juiced up. Not from Shiro, but from like Ren. Like a real ma ma mage. With uh, fully connected summons. All that stuff. She probably would have easily won. That aside, I just don't think assassins are built. From what I've seen in all assassins. Are built to go one-on-one -on -one against a servant. Of a better class. And that's built on one-on-ones. But again, who knows? It's Apocrypha. No one knows what's going to happen at this point because we can transfer heart memes and shit like that. Why have something consistent and cool and normal when we could have really dumb shit happening? What else do I want to talk about? Um. Oh, uh, dude, sister. I keep forgetting her name. I think it's Fiore. Fiore? I think it's one of those. I really like her. She's really sweet and really cute and fun to talk with. Even though she just got hit by a fucking car. She'll probably live because, you know, we can't have people dying in a servant war. Like this early on. So probably her brother or something is going to save her. You'll like or Kron will pop out of nowhere, even though she, he's dealing with Mordred right now. And keep him from killing her, ma his master. But I don't want her to die in the first place. So I really hope she doesn't die. But she probably won't. But I really like her. Just her attitude and shit like that. Especially. Especially her relationship with uh, Chiron. I think it's. Chiron. Chiron. It's one of those. Sharon. It's a really good relationship. And. I would say it's probably the second master serving combination I really like. But Astolfo's master, good fucking god. Can we talk about how terrible she is and how she really needs to fucking die? Holy fuck. The hell's wrong with her? Why is she so insane? What's wrong with her? The little kid's going to die. That's that's 100% going to happen. Talking about he doesn't care how many people die for like golem memes. He's going to die. He's going to be the dude that powers the big golem. Because the fat dude isn't going to be able to do it. They say he's going to do it. There's no way he's going to be able to do it. It's a fat dude. He's useless. Other than that, we really don't see the other masters because 
there was like a very small clip at the end of episode five that was like, oh, give me all your command spells. We won the war. So I don't know how they summon stuff, why they aren't real people, or at least why are they mind-controlled people that can summon stuff. And the other point, where are the other servants? Why aren't we doing something? Why are we... I don't know. Red Team is a fucking enigma at this point. It is so confusing at what they're trying to do, what they're not doing. Like, we can p pick off some of their servants one by one right now, and they're not? We could storm them? We could have Karna, instead of wasting his time with Ruler, level their fucking castle? Like, he could just NP, like, kind of farther away. Only Charon can hit him with a fucking arrow. If he misses, hey, boom, zap, beep, kill him. Like, you, we saw him fighting at Sea, Siegfried. He did great. I'm, I'm going to end up just calling him Sieg at this point because that's all he is. He, that's all he exists as now, and it's stupid. So whenever I say that, I probably mean both. So ignore it. Context clues it. But, uh, like, we have saw him, like, extremely powerful. Why aren't we using him? Why, when Spartacus was charging him, why didn't we just kill some other servants along the way as well? Why don't we just have a full-on battle? We can win it head-on. I just don't get the play here. It's just weird. I'm not saying people are being stupid intentionally, but it really just feels like a lot of things are happening for the sake of plot because plot needs to happen. And some people can't die because plot needs them to survive. Kind of like why dude's alive at this point. Ugh, he's boring. Other than that, uh, some of the other servants aren't bad. I like Astolfo. I like John. I like Mordred. I like Aaron. And uh, that's probably it. <laughs> no, that's a lot. That's enough. That's enough of a like list. I like more people in this than Fade Zero, if that counts there's more people but percentage wise i like more people so i mean hey we're moving up in the world it's just now that the writing needs to get fixed because it's really fucking silly but at the same time not as bad because i'm not taking it as seriously maybe or i'm just really frustrated at some really glaring part so i don't notice the like smaller details that are really terrible Oh, sad to see Mordred die. Yeah, we'll end on that note. I'm depressed now. Fuck. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to sub. And uh, check down the link. Check out the links down below. And uh, see you guys next week for more memes. And watching Fiore, that is her name, uh, not die, probably. I really hope she doesn't die, because I really like her. And I want her to walk. She needs to walk. Anyways, see you guys next week.